Hey everybody, welcome back to Mild Core Gaming and our playthrough, oh, bad angle, uh, of Mars Warlogs. I am Yummer, I am bad at video games. I make mistakes so you don't have to. If that's what you're into, please like, subscribe, follow, share, all that fun stuff. We put out new videos every day. And here we are with Mary, yeah. And we are, what are we doing? Hold on, let's take a look here. We bit of perspective. Go to the hideout to rest up. And then the coin killer. I don't I don't even remember where we got that one. <clears throat> Alright, so we have to go back to our hideout. Which is to the south. So it's this way. Here we go. Um, nope. This way. Do we have anybody gonna ambush us? Doesn't look like it. Yep. Ah. Huh. Oh, this is the bounty hunter. Come on. Okay, I got one. That's not really Fuck, you're even better than I remembered. <clears throat> I must be starting to get rusty. I'm too old for this business. You've known me for ages. Why'd you accept this job? You know me too. I'm not the kind to do something for sentimental reasons. I was always a bastard. Just ask charity. I must have had an unhappy childhood. But I'm always practical, and I don't feel like dying just yet. I broke that contract, and even if you decided not to kill me, I would still be in shit. You got yourself in it on your own. It's true. Listen, I think the only way I can get out of this is by working for you. What do you say? You know I'm good. You really think that after what you just did, I'm gonna hire you? Without mentioning how you're a turncoat? Keep dreaming. But you know I won't have a choice anyway. I'll have to stick to you like glue and take part in the fight. Now it's up to you, of course. He's pretty disgusting and doesn't seem very honest, but I like the way he speaks. He says funny things. Listen to the chick. She walks around half naked and it's like there's a meltdown going on between her ears. You already got a nutcase with you. Why not a bastard? Um. All right, you can come with me. All right, but I don't really know why I'm doing this. Maybe because I don't want to become a bastard like you. But I swear, if you betray me, you're a dead man. You're really a great guy, Roy. Gotta say. Let me get my shit together and I'm all yours. Okay. So. Free charity. Wait, is he with me now? Do you ever get the impression that you're kind of sickeningly nice? What do you mean? All those guys you leave on the ground behind you. You know they get back up. Can you imagine the number of pissed off people who only want to get back at you? 
I don't see the point in killing when you don't have to. You're living proof. I guess I should shut up, right? And all that serum lost. <laughs> Heroes. Uh, I want to ask you something. I wanted to know. Oh, jeez. You know this town well? You know Shadowlair by heart, <coughs> right? <laughs> I was born there, but I didn't always live there. Bounty hunters tend to get around a bit. But I've been back for a while. So, yeah, I guess I know the place better than you. It's a big pile of shit with gutless wonders living in it and run by head cases. A charming little spot, my favorite. If you want, just ask me when we're in the neighborhood. I'll tell you what you want to know. Why not? Why not? I may find out some stuff from you, and uh, at least you'll make me laugh. Okay, ask I something. To know. Uh, how'd you become a bounty hunter? How'd you become a bounty hunter? It's a long story, but basically I didn't have much choice. I was living in Shadow Lair at the time, had some problems, had to get out. I started working for a guy, a real bastard to be honest. But he respected me and vice versa. One day he got shot and they tried to make me take the fall. I didn't have a choice. I had to go find the guys. That's how I started. Okay. I wanted to... Uh... Can you tell me more about this neighborhood? Can you tell me more about this neighborhood? <laughs> you know this place. I don't really know what to say. There's Charity's Bar, and that's where you're sleeping. <laughs> now, this is the poor part of town. Got lots of mutants, but there's worse. Just go to the slums. But I gotta admit, it's got character, and you can lose a tail easier. Okay. Hmm? Uh, what do you know about the guy who hired you? What do you know about the guy who hired you? <laughs> Another guy with a ridiculous name. Generosity, I think. Yeah, right. He looks as generous as a good kick in the ass. And he comes across all lit up, too, like a war windmill. They said he's pretty high up in the source. Probably didn't make the decision on his own, like always with these inbreeds. You can bet the whole guild wants your head. And the bounty was high. Real sad. Uh, any regrets? What do you regret? The bounty? Or the fact that my head's still on my shoulders? The bounty? Nice amount of cash, you know. They must have kept it somewhere for when I showed back up. If we could get our hands on it... I don't see how you expect to stumble across it, unless you want to go straight to the source. No thanks. I saw enough guys with batteries shoved up their ass for a lifetime, I think. Uh, what do you think about the Resistance? What do you think about the Resistance? Huh. Dreamers completely disconnected from the real world. People who are doing everything to change the world, but don't understand they might just destroy it. Figure they're dangerous in their way. Bunch of freaks who think they know the real truth. Fucking extremists that gotta be real bitter because they weren't born with power. Uh, what do you think of the general? What do you think of Honor Grant? Our national hero? <laughs> Want my opinion? I can't say I really know him, but the idea that if he could have taken over at the top from his buddy, he'd have done it. That guy can pretend he's as straight as an arrow, the paragon of virtue and all that shit. But he's just like everyone else. He just wants power. Uh, I want to ask you something There's else? Something. Uh, come with me. Come on, follow me. No way, I'm with you. Wait, what? So wait. There is, oh, I can only have one. Okay. <clears throat> so, I gotta try this guy out because Mary, I'm sure she's a great person. But is getting her ass handed to her. She's going down every fight. So I, I'm just going to try. What the hell's his name? Tenacity. Okay, hold on. Um, so, orders. I want him to. Uh, I want you to take out the range guys. Okay. Uh oh. I need more healing. Okay, Aim let's. For the shooters. I need more. 
injections. Oh, we got plenty. Two, three, four, five. And ten. Okay. And then, let's see here. I've only got one grenade. I'm gonna make a. We'll do make another grenade. I think that's all I can do. Yep. Okay. Um. Okay. I have an extra copper too, but I'm gonna <coughs> we're gonna go ahead and sell it. Okay. Um, oh wait, I've got a mission. I've got actually got a mission to know more about Mary. Oh shit, where is Mary? Wait, where's my room? Is it this? Oh, what? Who? Wait, I thought we were supposed to rescue Charity. She's right here. So you on the same side then? Roy kicked my ass, and you know me. Only thing I could do was offer my services to pay off my debt. And above all, have a chance of surviving after fucking up your contract for the Technomancers. True. I suppose I should thank you, Roy. That scum would have killed me if you hadn't. I wasn't about to lose my best source of information. Don't be so cynical. You're a good man, Roy. I got nothing on me right now, but drop by my place. I'll give you something. Yeah, all right. I'll drop by. Okay. Okay, so... Hold on. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? A few questions. I was wondering. I want to tell okay. you something. Um, okay. Bye. Later, Mary. Okay, we're going to go with him, and we'll just check in with her, with Mary, every chance we get. Okay, so... I'm going to go Charity's Bar. All right. Let's we go this way. Oh, hey. Hey, Faith. Uh, it's my hero. What can I do for you? Later. Later. Roy, looks like you're back in the neighborhood. Always a pleasure. Of course. What do you want? You spoke about a reward. You said to drop by. You'd give me something. True. Even if I wonder if I did the right thing. Seeing you hang out with that scum. When I think about you kidnapping me. I know Roy likes you. I just used the cards up in my hand best I could. Nothing personal. That's your problem. It's never anything personal. Anyway, here, Roy, take this. I hope it'll be useful. Listen, while we're on the subject, the kid, Innocence, came by while I was... out. He told the bouncer the Resistance is getting a major strike ready on a train. He'll want you with him. It's a Technomancer convoy, if I understood, right? You should maybe find out some more. It could be dangerous. Okay. That was a reward. Oh, 8,000 experience. Okay. Intervene in the attack on the prisoner train. Wait, our reward was... Yeah, it was just... Just experience. Okay. Alright. 
Off we go. Whoops. There we go. That's the save. Throwing dirt in somebody's eyes there. Okay. Go this way. And then this way. And then this way. Oh. Whoa. Totally missed it. There we go. Oh no, this is just... These are mutants. These, these guys are cool. Or, I'm cool with them. Hey guys, passing through. <coughs> yeah, I got no problem with the dust guys. They seem pretty chill. Unless you beat them down too much, then they'll fuck you up. <laughs> Let's see here. Okay, I guess there's no... Okay, normally there's somebody there to ambush us. Um, suppose we can go this way. Right. Fortitude. No, he's not a vendor. Right. If you want my opinion, well, I don't guess you give a shit. But that kid you're hanging with, I don't know about him. Figure he'll be trouble. What kind of stupid idea is that? Joining the resistance? That bunch of inbred idiots are so hooked on utopia they probably shit roses. He wants to know what happened to his parents or to get revenge, I guess. I also think he really believes they can change things. <sighs> At his age, you can understand it. Even if you should have taught him better. You're gonna get him in deep shit, you know? pretty good chance of him dying I know well I mean he had a pretty big chance of dying on the front lines too he's lived <clears throat> he's gotten pretty lucky so far he didn't get killed in the war he didn't get killed in the POW camp so I mean he's not doing bad that's that's not that one. it's like back here isn't it no back here. Alright. I guess he's just gonna let me go. Wait, what? Where is he? I don't see him. Wait, that's not him. A bartender? Maybe? Hey. Hi. What can I get you? You got things to sell? Can I see what you got in stock? Oh. Hold on. I can sell my copper tube here. Alright, let's see what he's got. Nothing good. Yeah, and I've already got this. Alright. Wait, I want to talk to him. Hey. Hi. I got some questions. I wanted that. Yes. Someone said something about an attack on a train. The resistance is planning to attack a technomancer convoy. You know if the kid who was with me the other day is with them? You know, I don't actually follow their every move with bated breath. But it seems to me he actually was with them, yeah. They said something about freeing prisoners. 
The kid must have thought his parents might be in there. But it reeks of a suicide operation. Wasn't supposed to overhear their discussion. But I know where the attack took place. I can take you there. I owe you. Do you? Uh, okay. Uh, let's go. Alright, I'm with you. I don't remember what we did for this guy. Oh, shit. What? No. No, 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 no. Why am I... Okay. Stupid improvised weapon. Hey. Freaking tenacity. There's a guy shooting me. Damn it. God. Is that it? This, uh, this is the tech room, man. Tech, tech, no, man, sir. guys are loaded. Is that it? Can I? Insufficient ammo? Hold on. I just ran out of something. Grenade. I don't Oh man, was I spamming grenades? Hold on. Nope, not it. Shockwave. That's what I was trying to do. Oh man. Weapon charge. Electric arc. Shock. Yeah, I was trying to do shockwave. Hold on. Let's go. Wait. 
Uh, what? Uh, let's go. Let's go to that. Nope. Got to be a number. So let's see here. Let's make this five. Okay, and then I gotta hold on a sec. Sorry, I gotta map some keys here. All right, there we go. <coughs> Let's try that. Priority target. Okay. We have a map. Find innocence. Okay. Oh, shiny. Damn, I can't believe I let you drag me into this shit. They're oh. fighting for their ideas to free people. Yeah, right. They're just going for suicide with a great funeral. What bullshit? How are we gonna find a kid in there? It's your job to find people, right? So do it. Oh. That's right. Hold on. There's another guy here. Okay. Ooh. I almost missed a bunch here. Okay. I think I think we're good now. There's Chinese. What do we got? Where? What do we got here? Ooh, electrical components. Nice. Then we'll do a save. Oh. Okay. Ooh, I'm on it. I'm sorry, I, my, I think I've got a cold right now. My sinuses are all messed up and sore throat and just, I hurt all over, I'm whiny. Well, I'm a big tough man, I can do this. Watching them fight. Oh, 
thought it was another ladder there, but there's not. Oh, this is the train. This is actually pretty cool. We had some allies that actually survived this time. Sneaky. Is that it? That's the. Oh ho ho! Twenty one serum. Nice. Throwing dirt was our thing, I thought. Why did they take him? Hmm. Shit, Charity. It was a disaster. The kid was arrested. I'm sorry, Roy. He seemed like a real nice kid, really. The attack was stupid, but I already knew it didn't work. You got a lot of good information, apparently. <laughs> Some young person came here to hide just after. Judy. She told me what happened. And there's also someone sniffing around your place. A girl works for the general. Oh, her. That'd be devotion. <clears throat> She's his right-hand man, armed, from what I understand. My poor Roy. You have to decide. You're going to need allies if you want to help the boy. And scenes I doubt the Resistance can put up with honor and vice versa. You should go talk to the two women. See what they suggest. Oh, I'm going to have to make a choice. Wait, who are you? Oh, Judy. Hey, Faith. Uh, it's my hero. Well then. Later. Okay, so here's Judy. She's the Resistance. Choose between the resistance and the okay. Roy, I'm happy to see you. <clears throat> Even if Marco doesn't agree, I know we'll need you. Like you needed innocence. Please hear me out. You can't imagine how sorry I am about his arrest, but he wanted to take part in the attack. Yeah, no shit, he did. I think maybe we can help him escape when they decide to execute him. With your help, I'm sure we can do it. You know how important our ideas are to him. Marco didn't welcome you right, and he's still suspicious of you, but he's not the only one who makes decisions around here. Let's save him together, and then you can join us. We'll leave for Green Hope as soon as we free him. We hope we can weaken the Technomancers there. Ah, uh, those little resistance bastards aren't as stupid as they look. They sent a cute cheerleader to bring you over. Cheap move. Tenacity, shut up. 
Judy's one of the leaders of the Resistance. Yeah. Still, if I were you, not sure I'd buy that line about saving him. And the Resistance, you know. Tell me more about what you do. What do you do, exactly? We fight against the corrupt Aurora government. A government that doesn't hesitate to kill the people it just won the war with. A government that oppresses the people and leaves all the decisions in the hands of the Technomancers. You've seen the poverty, all the checkpoints, how cruel they are. We're fighting to change all that. To restore freedom and pride to the people of Aurora. With your help, we can do it. We'll free innocents and go to Green Hope to ruin those monsters' plans. I need more time to think about it. Let me have a bit more time to think about it. All right, but think fast. I don't think they'll wait long before they execute him. <clears throat> All right, let's go see what the gov government has to say. Or the general. Yeah, going back to our place. Wait. This way. Oh, there she is. Devotion. Greetings, Mr. Temperance. I've been ordered to see if you've thought things over. Um, it's not really a good time. One of my friends, uh... We know. So the General has a proposal for you. He can save the young man if you decide to work for him. The Technomancers aren't strong enough yet to counter his decisions. Join us and he'll live. On the other hand, I have to warn you that after saving him, we'll have to leave Shadow Lair for a mission in Green Hope. What the hell is this all about? And who is this android? Her bodywork looks alright, but she seems kind of weird. Tenacity. Meet Devotion. She works for General Honor Grant, who suggested I join him. And now he's pretty persuasive with the kid in the hands of the Technomancers. Nah. If he can stop people tracking us, sounds like a pretty good deal. Okay, this is weird. He, want, uh, he wants to work for the government. Um... Remind me why again? Can you remind me what it's all about again? What does the general expect from us? The general wants you to join the group he wants to put together to stop the Technomancers from getting more power. In exchange for your help, and in particular for your participation in what he wants to do with Green Hope, he'll have the child freed. Uh, yeah, I'm gonna go with the resistance. Because the government's currently in place. They deposed, they fought a war against uh, a mon or authoritarian regime and they stepped in and immediately did the same thing. So I need to think it's about it. It's a big it. decision. I need a little bit more time to think it over. All right, come back and see me when you've made up your mind. Okay, hold on. Let's talk to contact Mary. Mary, got anything new for me? Hello, Roy. A few questions. I was one. Uh, I tell you something. I later, Mary. Hold on. I'm gonna have her come with me. Hello, Roy. Can I do something for you? I don't like the way she says come that. Come with me. It would be a pleasure. Okay. Wait, where'd Roy go? Or God, dude, tenacity. Fuck. Whatever. What? There he is. Okay. Um. Hold on. Okay. So for her. Yeah, we're going to keep it that way. All right. So here we go. Let's head back. The ladder is here. Yeah, we're going to go join the resistance. Viva la resistance. I don't know any bit of French. Actually, here, let's do a full save. <coughs> this will be, can we name it? No, we can't name it. So we'll go, save. hold on. Okay, so the second sand one is the decision. All right. Have you decided? 
Are you going to join the ranks of those who fight in the name of freedom? <sighs> yeah. All right, I'll join you if you do everything you can to get innocence out. Thank you, Roy. Here, innocence left his diary at the HQ. I think he'd prefer you to have it. Okay. Okay, so that I guess that was chapter two. Locked up again. This guy. Getting pushed and ordered around. Ah. Firing squad? Yep. It's just a machine gun, they're gonna gun him down. Jeez. Oh there that dude be a way to stop them. We've got to get him out of there. Judy, we tried everything. We even thought about an all-out attack, but look at that. Those bastards have a machine gun. They must know we're here. We can't just stand here. We never thought they'd bring out something like that. The second we get in the yard, we're dead meat. That's exactly what they're expecting. I'm sorry. Oh, lend us an ear, boys, lend us an ear To the whispers of dead who've been wronged Oh, lend us a tear, girls, lend us a tear We're the last to give voice to their song The walls of Aurora, Fire! like gems stretched before us We rise to their glorious beat So pick up your blades and sharpen your courage what? Until they know defeat We got him killed? I've read this diary that Innocence kept, which Judy's given to me. Everything he went through since he got to camp is in it. Because even if he's dead, a hero, and a martyr, the story is far from over. He talked about the people he met, what we did, he even wrote whole pages on what I did since he started following Marco. I knew the Resistance had good sources, but I didn't think he'd hear about me helping the craftsmen clean out his workshop. Nor that Mary and Tenacity were with me now. In fact, I was a bit embarrassed to realize that I was the hero of the book. Maybe that's why I feel kind of obliged to keep it going. Because even if he's dead, a hero, and a martyr, the story is far from over. I feel horrible! Uh, what? That was the deal. I join, they help free innocents. I wonder what kind of bullshit would have happened if we sided with the other side. <clears throat> okay, now I'm agreeing with his pissed off look and angry eyes. What is this, Green Hope? We're here. Green Hope. You know, it's not that different from what I've seen in other places. The dusty old hydroponics farm, crumbling under the wind and the war. When you think of everyone who died here for this. What a miserable place. The name hardly reflects its condition. Yeah, it's pretty sad. Lots of people died here, taking it or defending it. It was a real slaughterhouse. But we can't stay here. Marco's waiting for us in the eastern part of the town. We have to move. Wait, is she with us now? Roy, I can't get Innocence's last moments out of my head. I feel so guilty. Yeah, you should. But, I'm sorry. I know you've got more on your mind than my feelings. What can I do for you? Uh, a few questions. I wanted to know. What's Marco's problem with me? Because I got a problem with him now. What's Marco's problem with me? Marco lost his family in the Technomancer's jail. Like all of us. Of course, that's not really a good enough reason, but he can be very hard. 
He doesn't forgive easily, and basically for him, all Technomancers are executioners. I lost someone close to me, too. He forgets that I lost someone close to me, too. I don't think he really realizes just how close you and Innocence were. Don't be angry with him. You'll get him to change his mind. You get on well with Marco? You're not like him. You get along well anyway. It's true we don't always agree on things, but we do have the same vision, Roy. And that vision is far more important than our differences. I see. Yeah, I understand. Uh, how'd you join up? How did you become part of the Resistance? I didn't get here by chance, anyway. It was a choice. My choice. When I got back from the war, I saw what was going on here, and I didn't wait a second. I got together with my former war buddies, who were as angry as me, and we made ourselves a little cell. Then Marco got in touch with us, so we could join forces. You know the rest. You're very brave. So you started a cell on your own? That takes guts. Thank you, Roy. But in fact, I couldn't do anything else. I would have gone crazy if I didn't do something. Uh, about the Resistance's ideas. What does the Resistance really stand for? At first, we were just about fighting a government that had betrayed its own by assassinating the militia. But later, other ideas started popping up. There was especially the fact that the people should be able to choose their dowser and representatives. So crimes like that would never happen again. They say that on Earth, that's what it was like in lots of countries. That'd be wonderful. Seems almost crazy, but it's a beautiful idea. With regularly elected representatives, the people would be sure to gain more freedom. And imagine how things would change. No more bosses on one side, proletariat on the other. There would only be responsible citizens. Well, oh, Roy, that's the idea. Together we can unseat the tyranny of the Dowser's dictatorship and create a new society. It won't be easy, but is there anything more worth fighting for? <laughs> you shouldn't get me started. You'll never shut me up now. Let's talk about something else. Okay. Innocence. He wasn't with you long, but I'd like you to tell me what he did while he was here. I'd love to. Right at the start, Marco asked him to carry messages. Sounds easy, but it can be dangerous. He did really well. He got fake IDs to groups being hunted by the Technomancers, couriered authorizations, and even resistance tracks. Uh, what happened after that? What else did he do? Marco ended up trusting him and recognized his bravery. He asked him to infiltrate the military base. We needed to contact certain soldiers without being seen. And he's how we learned about the train, too. Even if I almost regret it. I really liked him, Roy. He was both fragile and full of strength. He wore his name well, which is not something you see too often. Thanks for telling me all that, Judy. It's good to hear what he did with you and that he was among friends. Where are you from? Where do you come from, Judy? I was born in Val Ombra. Ever been there? It's a pretty small city. Life's good there. I came to Shadow Lair to join up. I stayed here a bit, long enough to learn how to use a weapon, and then I went to the front. Since I got back, I've gotten to know the place better. A farmer's daughter. I just knew it. I figured it was something like that, seeing as how you're so... Oh, shit. Simple. <laughs> so you think a jaded technomancer is less of a stereotype? <laughs> Get off. If you don't like what I am, just stop talking to me. Uh, were you in the war? She just you got done saying that war. a bunch. Yeah, I wanted to enlist. I didn't just want to stay in Valombra with everyone else fighting. So I figured I'd become a soldier too, to defend Aurora. Oh my god. Misogynist response. A woman in war? Ridiculous! Uh, where were you? What corps were you? I was in the Rangers, and I got lucky. Lots of us got taken prisoner real early, but I trained hard, and I was pretty good at it. So I only got back to Shadowlair after the fighting was over, pretty much about the time of the Battle of Green Hope. 
I would have been sent out again, I figure, if Abundance hadn't asked for the ceasefire. And you? I was just a soldier. I fought on a few different shadow lines as a grunt. Nothing special. The war and all its shit-covered glory. But with skills like yours, you could have been a lot more, couldn't you? And I guess you wanted to keep a low profile. I get that. Um, what do you think of the Dowser? What do you think of our Dowser? To be honest, during the war he was my hero. He was incredible. An amazing strategist. And he gave us hope when we thought we were goners. At the time he made us so many promises. <laughs> then he went and broke them all. I really thought he was going to give the people more freedom. That's why we fought so hard. All that to take out the militia as soon as we got back from the front. It killed me. Now I hate him. I know how you feel. I understand completely. Even if I was in camp when he became the Dowser, I felt the hope he brought when I saw the despair when I got back. Thank you, Rife. That's it exactly. <sighs> but let's change the subject. This is depressing. Okay. Wait, what? No. I'm glad we see things the same way when it comes to our enemies. What oh. do you mean? We don't need to kill the ones we fight and beat. I think that's a real strength. Uh, that's absolutely right. I see things the same way. Why kill them? If only everyone thought like us. A few questions. I wanted to know. <laughs> You're a magnificent woman. I never met a woman like you before. So full of passion. And so beautiful. I... I wasn't expecting that. <laughs> but, um, thank you, Roy. I don't know if I'm beautiful or not, but as for the passion, that part's true. I think I'm kind of proud of it. But what are you telling me that for? Uh, it's just what I think. It's what I think, that's all. And I felt like saying it. I... Thank you. Really appreciate it. You're not that bad either. But I don't think this is really the place to talk about that kind of thing, is it? Uh, have you ever been to Green Hope? Did you ever go to Green Hope? No. During the war, I wasn't in the sector. And before, well, that was abundance. Heard what happened here, of course, but I guess you know as much as me. All right. So no. Uh, nothing. Okay. Wait. Oh yeah, the con. Oh. Wait, Mary left? Oh. Yeah, okay. Hold on here. Oh, we leveled up. Um, oh, we have got, only got one point. Okay. Skills. Okay, um. Let's see here. We're not going to do that one. What are we going to do? What's this one? Master Exploder? No. They have Exploder. I'm not going to worry about. Actually. Yeah. So Wounded Fools deal 25% less damage. And they suffer more damage. And then next time I level up, we'll get the wounds last longer. And then we'll switch over to combat because I use it the most. And then technomancy, we've got deep impact. I use that one. Oh, wait a minute. Empowering fluid. Increased health. Okay, yeah, we, well, yeah, we'll go into that. <clears throat> and then health regeneration. You can't be interrupted. So, yeah, deep impact. These ones, hold on. Yeah, I'm going to do those, too. Because, let's see here. I've got those three. This one. Harry.
Oh, that's my block, right? Evasion. No, block. No, that's guard break. Okay, well, yeah, we'll work on it. Go to the resistance camp. Okay, let's see here. Let's go ahead and search everything. Is that a shiny in there? Nope. is shiny. Oh, hold on, there it is. Whoa, what? I was jumping up on stuff. I just came from back there. Yeah. Nothing there. The access looks blocked for the moment. All right, can't go up there yet. Wait. But I'm supposed to go up there. Hold on. Oh, I guess I have to go to the village and then around. Okay. here. Oh, we got a grenade there. Farming village, all right. Okay. Bloody vermin. Equity. Oh, hey, another guy from Shadow Lair. Yeah, that a problem? No, no. It's even becoming a regular thing with what all those technomancers and their guards who showed up. But you're a civilian, and with what's happening around here. What are you talking about? What's wrong? They found a dead kid in the village, pretty girl, and it wasn't natural. She had this weird expression, and she was holding a strange coin. Looked like a relic, but some guy said no, it was too new. Fact remains that now people are looking over their shoulders, especially at new faces. I get the feeling I've heard this somewhere before. And uh, are there a lot of new faces around? 
Well, apart from technomancers, guards, you and your friends, that's not bad for a start. But yeah, there's another guy. Keeps to himself pretty much. But he's being watched, just like you. I heard about this story. That's awful. Maybe we should... Find him ourselves and make him pay for all that? Absolutely. Okay, so this, yeah, the coin killer. We didn't, we weren't able to uh, do that. Who's this? Impartiality. Hi. Sorry, but it's not exactly a good day for us. What's going on? Those bloody mutants stole some of our food. Not like we produce much anyway. It's going to make things really hard. They deserve to get put down, damn animals. As if they didn't have enough with what we give them. Uh, maybe you're going to do something. I can go see them, work this thing out. That would be great. We need to get back what they stole and punish them. We can't let them get away with it. But, uh, if you could avoid killing them, just teach them a lesson. I got a bit carried away earlier, but we need the labor. Roy, I find this man a little too extreme. Maybe we should try to know more before we do anything. All right. I'll do my best. Okay. Um, how do we get up there for that? We go up here? Cool. All right, got that. And then there's more. Something over here. Okay. Theft from the stores. Yeah, let's go with theft from the stores first. There's a vendor. Oh, hold on. No, they're shiny up here. I think there's a vendor here, and hopefully they got some stuff we can upgrade. Hey, a new face. On your way to rebuild the farm? Need equipment? Any rumors? Any interesting rumors? Bah! A really important group of Technomancers showed up here not too long ago. But maybe you already knew that. They're doing something around a work site. Nobody knows too much about what they're doing out there, but we hear noises. They're digging. People are wondering what they're looking for. Uh, let's see what you got. Show me what you have to sell. With pleasure. Something good, something good. Come on. Ooh. Okay, I've got a copper tube. Not gonna buy that. Okay, let's see here. Technician's outfit. Hold on. I've got leather uniform right now. It increases my maximum health. Yeah, I think we'll uh we'll take that. Let's see if we can upgrade it. Ooh, improved composite. Electrical and hardware. One electrical and a bunch of hardware. Hey, you're back. Show me what with.
think I just needed one of those. And then... Crap. Was it hardware? How do I... Oh, here we go. Yep, hardware. I need hardware. I wish I could buy more than one at a time. Ten hardware. There we go. Okay. Okay, so this doesn't give us its five less damage reduction, but our maximum health goes up and our fluid regeneration goes up, and that'll help us with our technomancer powers. And if I find myself going down too much, I'll just switch back to the leather uniform. Okay. I've only got two health packs. Oh, that's fluid health packs. I have nine. Okay. Hold on. Let's see here. I got a, the fluid injection. Okay, that one will be six. And then, oops. Hold on a second. And then that is six. All right. Ah, so wait a minute. How do I get up there? Here we go. Here's stairs. I saw another shiny up here. <clears throat> and there's the electrical component. Son of a bitch. Wait, can we? Oh, all right. Okay, let's see here. Let's head back. Let's do theft from the stores. Aha. Uh -huh. Industrial complex. All right. Oh. Wow. Um. Hey guys, just want to talk. Actually, I'm going to go over here first because I saw a shiny. Oh, my health is 175 now. That's nice. Hey guys. I see so uh ha. So that is nothing? It's closed. 
Uh, hey guys, let's uh, let's talk. How can we help the man? <clears throat> Dude, I love his shades. That's awesome. Where are you from? Where are you from? You from Aurora? Yes, the one man sees before him belongs to Aurora, and always belonged. We came from Shadow Lair in a train with others to work here. But we regret. In the city we ate our fill. The men fed us. Here they throw us some leaves. They throw leaves at us, nothing more. Here we die of hunger and must work as much or more. Uh, what do you do here? What do you do exactly? What do they get you to do? We had to move man corpses. Put them in trains for the city, and repair broken canals, and carry bags, and plant grain, and... I think I see. You do a bit of everything. Oh no, we decide nothing. Okay, I gotta go. Gotta go. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Oh, bye-bye. Okay, wait. Isn't these the guys we're supposed to... Wait, is it just wanting us to beat them down, or... Well, that's him. Can I talk to... Oh, garbage. Where did you put what you stole? The mutants must eat, too. Like the men. They have enough to eat. What do you mean? Explain yourself. The men were given much stock by the guild. Very much to eat and sow. They also received the mutants, us, for help. But they gave us nothing to eat. The mutants must eat too. Otherwise, we die like the men. They have enough to eat. Why do they give us nothing? Okay, okay, I get it. I know you need to eat. I may be able to help you. Maybe I can help you balance things up a bit. We... we do not understand. You are a man. Yes, I'm aware of that, thanks. Alright, I'll see what I can do. I'll see you already ate what you took. I'll probably have to tell them that I punished you too, but you'll have to play along. This... this is unexpected, man. If you do this, you will be saving us. And... Yes. Many of us are sick, as we have not had food for a long time. And may the man forget me. I should not ask for more than what he has already given us. How with it? Well, just tell me about it instead of beating around the bush. If the man could also find us some medicine. It would be very, very kind. All right, I'll take care of it. I'll see what I can find. Thank you so much. Thank you. Wait, I have medicine, don't I? Oh, find the medication. Is there a specific? Hold on. Hello, man. Oh, any info on Green Hope? Any info on Green Hope? It's a place where a lot of men died. When we arrived, there were still bodies and holes everywhere. Many broken things. The ground is rich, but it's a place of death. Never at peace now. The ground has tasted blood, and it will want more. But that is merely what we think. Okay, I gotta go. I have to go. Bye. Oh, okay, I gotta go back to the village. Wait. Where's that go? 
Wait, that's where I need to go. Whoa! from him. He's gonna pop. These guys seem to be carrying more. There's one more? Yeah. I did I there's no way I came through here. Oh yeah, I'm totally going the wrong way. Yep, did not come through here. Oh. Wait. Hold on. Here we go. This is the way. I got the medicine. I'm gonna go, well, we're, yeah, we're here. I'll go see garbage. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey guys. Here you go. There is the man again. Do you have the medicine? Yeah, but here, keep it to yourselves. If anyone sees you have it, you'll get in big trouble. Of course, man. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. The man is great and generous. Accept this gift. We all contribute, so we can thank you. Oh, uh... The Technomancers. You know anything about the Technomancers? Those magic men don't come here, but we know that they are digging. We've carried equipment to where they dig. They are looking for something in the ground. We think they are looking for traces of the first men. Colonists? Yes. Green Hope is old. It is said that part of the canals date from that time. That is what makes it rich. Ah, uh, I see. Interesting. Um, the shadow line being, line being built. I heard about 
about a shadow line being built around here. You know anything about that? Yes. Some of our people are used there. But we have heard nothing more of them. It is a very bad place to work. There would seem to be others working in the sun. Not just us. Men, too. But that's crazy. Nobody would do that. The experiments? The Technomancers were carrying out experiments on mutation. Have you heard anything about that? No, man. Those of ours who went to Shadow Lane have not come back. May the sun receive them, and the shadow forgive them. Um. Okay, gotta go. I have to go. Bye. What do we got? Oh, 10,000 experience. Okay, now let's talk to them and say, took care of your problem. I uh, took care of your problem. <laughs> really? Sorry, I couldn't get the food back. They'd uh, already eaten it all. Oh shit. We're gonna be struggling for months to make that up. We're really gonna have to tighten our belts. You still got enough to survive. You'll get by. All the same. Those filthy animals need to be taught a lesson so they don't start again. If we let them get away with it once, they'll think they can do anything. Done deal. I took care of it. They won't do that again. Hmm. Well, that's good to hear. Thank you. I suppose. Another ten thousand. Oh, and with all the boat. Cool. All right. Two. We need five. Okay. Skills. So wait, there, there was one more. Was it this one? Yeah. So we got that. And then... I think we were... Roll... Damage reductions. Parry. Does parry mean block? I don't know. We'll do this. We'll get some damage reduction going. Oh, we only had one. That's right. Okay. Respect to equity, merchant. Okay, we need to talk to get head up to tolerance, I guess. Is this tolerance? You're not a farmer. True. Is that a problem? Not at all. Takes all kinds. Well, maybe you'd be ready to help me. In what way? What's wrong? Since I've been here, things have been getting worse and worse. I'm supposed to replant all the crops, but everything's being destroyed by the molds. It's impossible to grow anything. So we're short of everything, but we should already have our first harvest since we got here. But nobody's doing a thing. They're too scared. I'll look after it. It's pretty basic, but I'll help you. Thank you. That's real good of you. Got to say, there aren't really any guards here to help us. Where's the field? I'll mark it on your map if you like. There. Um, how are the crops getting along? More for you to tell me. As far as I'm concerned, things are at a standstill. Might not be the best subject. Uh, how long have you been here? You've been here a long time? Well, not really. I got here when our troops left, after the war. 
We were sent out here to rebuild, to make the farm productive. Okay, bye. I gotta go. See ya. Okay, so... Alright, yeah, we're going the right way. Just looking for the shinies. Like that. Wait, what? Back to the hydro. Oh yeah, it's the nor uh the other side of the map. Yeah, we're up here now. Okay. There we go. Okay, so hold on. We'll go this way first. Whoa! It's a queen. Oh man, I took her down. Okay. Oh, that's a guy. I thought it was a scrap pile. I didn't know I was looting the body there. here though yep two things back here all right let's head back <clears throat> we'll turn in this mission later What the fuck? Come on.
All right. Sorry, Judy. grenades again. Huh. Okay. I should probably stop using grenades since I'm... Most of the time I end up just knocking out my allies. Yeah, this is some bullshit. Oh, I could have sworn there was going to be an ambush. This is, yeah. Oh, shit. I got one nail gun round. Okay, let's make some. Hold on, one more hardware. Okay. There we go. Oh, 
Oh. Hey, Roy. I heard about the kid. I'm real sorry. Oh, wait, Mary. I need to... Roy, I wanted to tell you. I'm sorry about the boy. I know that he was like an apprentice to you. N not in the way you're... You know apprentice. But thank you. Thanks, Mary. Thanks, Mary. That's uh, nice of you. I have a few questions. I was wondering. Oh, have you already been to Green Hope? Have you already come here to Green Hope? No, never. I heard about it, of course. The battles here were so big, Abundance didn't want to lose the place. It was such a key part of their strength. But that's all. I want to tell you something. Okay, goodbye. Later, Mary. All right. Um, Jane, Judy's nice and all, but uh, tenacity. Hey, Roy. You need me? Yeah, I think. Come on, follow me. I need your help. No way. I'm with you. That's a weird dialogue. Whoops, didn't mean to do that. Okay. Let's talk to Marco. Well, I was expecting a Technomancer, and here we have two. Two for the price of one. I hope neither of you is planning on stabbing me in the back. Like you did? I... Who would I betray you to? The source is after me too, just like Roy. Judy has vouched for you, Roy. She thinks that with your help, we can save the kid. I heard he died despite everything. I know you were close. I imagine that gives you a good reason to fight on our side. Revenge is a powerful force. Regardless, we've got work here. A lot of work. And it's time to get down to it. Here? Really? There are two of our people who look like they're keeping an eye on something, but... What's so special about Greenhope, apart from the mass grave? As you know, we are mainly trying to counter the Technomancers. But through prisoners that were freed during the attack on the train, we found out they'd open a worksite in the camp. They said a large group came here and seemed real excited. Seeing as they're only interested in power, there's got to be something here that could make them powerful. We can't let them have it, so we're going to destroy the site. There's a gas line crossing it. Open the right valve, and boom. It's a pretty simple approach, but no matter. I'll take care of that. I have some questions. I'm listening. Uh, what did you do during the war? You got drafted during the war, I suppose. Yeah, and I fought too, but I was lucky. I was part of the reserve troops. We mostly took care of logistics. I wasn't in any skirmishes. Most of the troops were in front. Oh, okay. So, how's the job going? Did you find the gas line and the valve? Not yet. <clears throat> I got time to look around the site. This kind of operation is delicate, and I don't want to rush things. I'm listening. How you entered the resistance? How did you come to join the resistance? <clears throat> Were you in the militia too? No, I wasn't in the militia. I thought the alliance with the Technomancers was too risky. I figured it would end badly, but I had no idea that it would end this badly. A lot of my friends were in it though. People who really believed in what Wisdom promised. That after the war, if the militia helped beat Abundance, he'd change the people's status. In fact, to be honest, I was already in a protest movement. I organized meetings even before the war was declared. I already wanted to change things then. Obviously, when the militia got almost wiped out after the victory, I understood we had to do more than just have meetings. And I created the resistance. But, later. you know, I think we're going to have a problem with him later. All right. Um, okay. Sabotage. Hold on. Where am I going? Yeah. Do, 
Fairly big place. Loot, 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 hard bodies. Oh, okay. Um, you know, three different ways we can go. Okay, I'm going to take a kind of a weird route around. this way. I'm going to save. Okay, so... away from him, he's gonna pop. Okay. Oh, that's the way we came in. No, that's not the way we came in. Come on, let me hit this guy. There, 
Wait, this is a remnant. So that's it. A whole mess of pre-turmoil artifacts. Kind of explains the Technomancer's excitement. On the other hand, it's hardly surprising they're frothing at the mouth. That stuff's worth a fortune. It's not so much the serum they could get that has them excited. This is the kind of place where you find things for using the fluid. Oh, so they can make lots more cute little Technomancers? What luck. That, and the knowledge they can get from it, to become more and more powerful. You saying this entire goddamn war business started because of that? Mind you, it makes more sense than fighting for philosophical reasons. This little bit we didn't do. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay. Okay, we've already been here. Should we go out this way? Oh no! Forgot it, missed the guy. Okay, hold on, how do we? This pry little guy. I think I had a lot. There's any shinies about? Got a couple. Save and oh, one more.
Okay. Alright, let's head back. Oh, is it going to take us all the way back? That'd be nice. So, how's the job going? Did you find the gas line and the valve? Yes, the site's been destroyed. They might try to start digging again, but it'll take them months to clear all that away. Perfect. I have to admit I didn't expect you to be so efficient. Seems Judy was right. Thanks for joining the fight. We have to get together with other members of the Resistance in the Agricultural Zone. Apparently some of them have some interesting information. I'd like you to come along. All right, I'll go. Hey, level up. I think we've got three, we need five. My reputation is just good. Cruel and terrible. Okay, well, we're not going to get those. Okay. Okay, what do I unlock there? Guard break attack. Ooh, okay, those ones are next. What's this one? Combat trance? Ooh, we can speed up, I guess. Counter it. Okay, so parry. That is the block. All right. So we need to go. Where do we need to go? Oh shit! He's gone. Roy. I've given a great deal of thought about what you said to me. How it's for me to decide who I offer myself to. You... I mean, I really like you. You're really nice to me, and... For the first time, when I'm with you, I feel like I'm not just something men wish to devour. I... If you want to... I mean, I certainly would. But I don't mean just physically. I want to be with you. Truly. Um, sure. I do too. You're not just saying that to save your own skin anymore. I've been hoping this would happen. What? Uh, okay. That was super quick. <laughs> 